Hey everyone, welcome to Kiki Chat. I'm Shirley. I'm Christy. What's uh, up? What's up in the neighborhood? Yeah. And we're back to talk about many things. <laughs> First off, we're going to be reviewing Alien Romulus? Romulus, yeah. But first, we're going to talk about all the stuff. Other pop culture stuff. I, li- I like to call this section the pop culture section. I think we should do that more often. Right. Because right? we've done it before, talking about like stuff we've been yeah. watching and doing and shit like that. So if you're not down for listening about pop culture, just jump right over to the Alien Romulus review. Yeah. But thank you just for listening over. and joining us today. Yes. And follow us, subscribe, kick us chat on YouTube, leave a comment and like, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Pop culture section. Uh, uh, first I want to talk about because I want to leave like the other video for last Megan the Stallion oh. but first I want to talk about Sabrina Carpenter's um, video Taste oh yeah yeah um, and it just got deleted from the notes we're <laughs> looking at the notes and it got deleted but uh, because I think it just came out this week yeah and it, it stars um, Jenny Ortega and they look amazing but for some reason I don't know what it is in Hollywood but they age up young women like crazy because Sabrina Carpenter is only like 25 and then Jenny Ortega is like 21 I think they and they make them look so much older for some reason yeah like cause I saw Jenny Ortega I was like that's fucking Jenny Ortega she looks so old so much they they like aged her up 20 years remember I was telling you she almost looked like she was 40 or something yeah in certain parts yeah it's just so weird I'm not saying they look amazing they look great. But I'm just like, why do they do that to young women? And they do that to teenagers, too, which is another creepy-ass factor in Hollywood that I'm just like... Yeah, I don't like that either. But anyways, aside from that, they were like... um, The video was, like, I think referencing movies. I'm going to be lying. The only movie reference I got was Death Becomes Her because that was my movie growing up. I fucking love that movie as a kid, which is weird. If you have not seen that movie, please check it out. It's a fantasy classic starring Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn. And they're like two sworn frenemies fighting for the same man, played by Bruce Willis. Mind you, Bruce Willis is kind of like this scientist who gave them the ability to stay young. And, right. s- and heal and regenerate their body. So throughout the whole movie, they're attacking each other. And they can't die. And so he has to heal them, you know, and cure, you know, cure whatever defects they're giving each other because they're fighting for him so they don't, so they don't die. Yeah. So that's what happens with Sabrina Carpenter's. That taste was movie. funny. <laughs> Jenna and Yotega and, 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 and Sabrina are fighting for a guy. Pretty much. Um, not worth it. They should just get to... I thought they were going to get together in the end. I know. There's, <laughs> this is actually one cool scene where they're both kissing, and I was like, whoa, what's going on Oh, wait, here? they're getting together? I was like, yeah. So hey. it, just, it didn't happen, sadly. But um, anyways, yeah, that was the only movie reference I got, and you got Psycho, which I was like, oh, yeah, because they do the, like a shower scene. Yeah, <laughs> and how, like, yeah and the knife. knife building, like, stabbing. I mean, I like... About that. And then the most iconic film scene ever. Go on, now, I know. I'm t- How I'm did totally you not get that? Lost. I was totally lost. And then they were like, I was looking at an article of Variety. This is where I was picking up, and I was like, oh, okay. And then they said Ginger Snaps. Never seen that movie. Apparently, it's like a Canadian supernatural movie from the 2000s. Don't know that shit. It's about two sisters that died or something, or so, two deaths. Preoccupied sisters in the suburbs. I don't know. Something about werewolves. It's crazy. I don't know. I was it trying looks, to look it up. It looked the weird. The visuals look crazy. Yeah. And then I, I do. Oh, I did catch the nurse um, costume from um, Kill Bill Volume 1. Oh, that yeah. was like the same nurse costume that um, Dara Hannah had on as one of the assassins from um, uh, Kill Bill. Which, you know, the, the nurse Bill. costume with like the. Cross on the Kill eye. Bill was a good film. Volume one, yes, that's a good film. <laughs> I didn't care. I'm sorry, I didn't care for the second one. I'm gonna be honest. And then they were like, "Oh, Adam's Family, Adam Family Values." That was my movie too. Is the sequel to the first one when they were like, um, Joan Cusack's character, um, Debbie. Remember, she was like sh- seducing Uncle Fester to get inherit his money because he was gonna get a lot of money. Joan Cusack's so cool. 
she was amazing in that fucking movie. She looked amazing too. And she was wearing like this white feathery type of like cloak, like top I did or like I don't know what they call them. Like it's like lawn not lingerie, but kinda like yeah, what? it's lingerie, right? Yeah. Like for like when you sleep and shit. But um they said Sabrina Carpenter was wearing that. I was like, Oh, okay. I could see that. But anyways, the video was cool. Um I like how you call Sabrina Carpenter the coffee girl. <laughs> you didn't know her name. Oh, yeah, I, love yeah. that I still don't call her by her name, but today, since the notes are in front of me. Because of like espresso, that was the song was, that I, I, I really like. Because you know, I love coffee and, and I like the song. Actually, I taste, I, I, I kind of, it's okay. I don't really care for the song that much. Um, I do like the video, but uh, I think I like her other songs more, like Nonsense and like Espresso and Please, Please, Please. I like those songs a little bit more. Yeah, co- but Coffee Girl is interesting. Yeah, but um, yeah, we just wanted to talk about that. And then let's get into Megan Thee Stallion. Because we gotta talk about Megan the fucking Stallion. Like, her video. Yeah, why are you giving her a new name, though? Oh, I'm not like giving her a new name. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> I'm always, like, one, she's an amazing rapper and artist. But also, she loves Deku as her favorite, like, one of her favorite anime characters. I gotta represent her. And she is, like, inspired. Like, she's, she's oh, she's an inspired. Anime, yeah, or not yeah, even Miracle. Miracle. Character. Yeah, yeah, Miracle from... My Hero Academia, but if you haven't dope. seen My Hero that Academia, so check out our reviews. Yeah, check out our reviews. We have My Hero Academia Series Seven um, reviews up on our YouTube channel as well. But yes, it's called M- Mash- Mushi. I- Mamushi. Mamushi. I hope I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, it's like a venomous, like Japanese viper snake, and I was like, oh, okay. And that's where like the it features the rapper who's on that song, Yuki Chiba. Um, and he, of course, he rap. He's a Japanese rapper. He raps in Japanese, and I think that's really dope. How they were just like, yeah, rap in your 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 language and not rap in English. You know, like I think that's cool. Like bringing different like um cultures in and and different languages into like, I guess uh um like you know an English based American song. I guess you know. Yeah. So that was really cool. So in the video, I loved it. I I thought the video was dope. So basically, it's like her, her and Yuki like basically have like they 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 strategize to like kill all these gangsters in like a Japanese spa, and I think that was just really cool. Her costuming was amazing, like the red costume. Yeah, I thought that that was like fire. all the costumes are in her hair. She looks so fucking beautiful. I, it was a fun video to watch. At first, was I was fun. like, what's going on, yo? And then she started eating them, and I was like, this is awesome. Yes, and she looked good. Yeah, she, she looked, looked hot. I was she like, damn. I was like, there's this one scene where she is in the water. There's, I don't even know what you call that in the spa, where they're all, like, chilling in the water. And she's just there naked, and the other men are, like, bathing as well. I guess bath. <laughs> and I'm bad. like, wow, yeah. they got to sit there with Megan and Stalin and naked. What? Let me stop. <laughs> she looked good. I, was I like, know. Damn. But her costuming was amazing. Like that red one again, just like in one of the parts where she's dancing. So beautiful. Like even her last costume, beautiful. But uh, yeah. So check out that video. They're both out. Just gotta get a shout out. So much fun. And, and I actually really like that song. Yeah. I really like that song, know, especially... It, it sticks in your head. It sticks in your head. It's very a catchy song. Of course, there was a dance trend to that song. That's how catchy it is. Um, also, I love how Yuki raps. He raps so softly. It's so, like, I don't know what it is about his voice, but he raps very softly. Well, first soft. of all, you it's can really understand what he's... I mean, not understand, but you can hear well, what he's I rapping. I don't have Japanese, so... Right? <laughs> but you, you... I get what you mean. Like, you get what... You don't have to understand a song to, like, get the meaning behind yeah. it, I guess. And, yeah, and, yeah. Because so, you're a K-pop fan, so you you know. I'm a K-pop fan. I've also listened to, like, independent J- Japanese artists and rappers and... It's just fun to listen to, especially, I don't know what it is, but you don't have to understand the lyrics or know the words to really enjoy the music, the tone, the vibe of the song. So that's yeah. what I, I really like about hearing international music and not understanding a single word. Exactly. Well, you know, they say music is universal, so. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, so let's get into our next topic. This was a big one that came out like a, two weeks ago, I think. And we had to bring it up because we actually reviewed this show recently because this first season finished just like a month ago. And of course, we're talking about the Acolyte and how sadly it was not renewed. And I wanted to talk about it because, you know, we actually enjoyed the Acolyte. It actually got me into Star Wars again. Um, check out our, our reviews on YouTube. We did like a whole season review and then the finale review as well on our channel. But yeah, the Acolyte sadly wasn't renewed. And I was so excited, it got me into Star Wars again, and I was just like, hearing this shit just made me sad. Of course, we were boycotting Disney Plus and like Star, like um, Disney before that. <laughs> and we don't have Disney Plus. How we watched the act, like, we won't tell you. We didn't watch that good. <laughs> wow. We won't, tell, we won't get into it, how we watch it. But, um, but yeah, sadly, it, that pissed me off because, again, it is a show that was, like, different. It was a show that was giving more of the Sif side. It didn't go into the Sif side, but it was going into that more. It was more. more about the dark side. Yes, exactly. Thank you. And it also didn't, like, have to deal with the Skywalker shit. And it's just, it was nice. It was kind of refreshing. Yes, I'm not... You know, it had its bumps, ups, and downs, of course. If, but that's not the point. Like, the point is is that it was uh, it was different. And then also you get into the other shit that was happening. So, of course, the news of the show not being renewed happened on Manny um, Jacinto's birthday, <laughs> which is, like, so oh, fucked up. But I get the feeling that maybe they already knew, like, the actors, you think? Yeah, well, But still, it still sucks contracts. ass when it comes out on your birthday. Exactly. That news. Like, this is, you know, he was so happy. And it's so weird because they took him out in D23 to, like, talk about the Acolyte. And mm. that was a week before they, like, freaking the news trades came out and said, oh, it's not getting mm. renewed. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Like, what happened? Like, the changeup was crazy. And now he's going to Japan celebration for Star Wars. And it's like, I don't know. I think that's just That's just know. weird. It's just weird. But just go get your money. Exactly. Go get your money, Manny. Just go get it. <laughs> get your Sorry. bag. Oh, uh, <laughs> wear your costume. Whatever you gotta do. Show me. No, but that still sucks. And I still, you know, I'm gonna get into the the main actor Amanda Stanberg because of what they're going through. This goes into another topic, of course. But for um, yeah, it was it was also canceled apparently for low viewership and um. I don't know. We don't really get the numbers that much from streaming services. I wish we did. I wish they were more front about it. Like the, you know. Transparent. The, transparent. Thank you about it. And they also said in an article. I forgot which fucking article I got. This. Was it Variety or Deadline? I forgot. But uh, viewership um, also went down after episode two. Of course, that goes into the fact that, oh, you got the lesbian witches oh my god i can't show my kids that that's type of stupid ass misogynistic like queer lesbian phobia that that certain fucking crowd has like that's them um but yeah the um acolyte there's also about the budget to be in 180 million oh it didn't god, need to be that damn. much now why was it so expensive i don't know why can't they do what they do with the, you know, like Baby Yoda shit? But here's the crazy that? thing. To use I that just, whole screen thing. You know what's crazy? I just heard that Robert Downey Jr., this came out in an article, I forgot which one. He's getting $100 million to play Doctor Doom. Robert Downey Jr. $100 million? A hundred fu- I don't think... How much is that film budget? I don't know what the Avengers film budget is going to be then. Because I'm just like... I'm, I'm assuming it's going about to be like million. $300 million. Damn. Or something. Yeah, because that's how much no, budget costs them. Yeah, but for if certain he's movies. getting paid hundred million, the budget has to be five hundred million or something. Oh like Jesus that. Christ. Because how much are they paying the other actors? They're not gonna be up in there like, oh wow, he got a million. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. But million? all I'm gonna say is no fucking person should be getting a hundred million. And that is fucking crazy. And, and I'm that's being serious about day. that. No. I kidding. not even Nobody me. I would be much. like, who the fuck? Hell no. Because this could be going to 
actual people, like organizations, like oh no, the cast and crew, the other cast the and crew. crew. Like, how much they paying up? If he can't hundred animators, million. you know what? How about pay yeah. the people who work in your fucking Disney parks? Yeah, how exactly. about that? Because uh, how, some of them should not be fucking sleeping in their car. Let's just say that. That's fucking crazy. That gets me upset. But anyways, the other thing that gets me upset is the big thing is the racist and misogynistic crowd that say they are fans. Like, fuck them. Uh, talking How they've been treating the main actor, Adam, um, Amanda Sandberg, with, like, racist and misogynistic comments on her, like, Instagram page. And, like, ever since she joined the show, they're doing it now that the show has been, like, not renewed. They are going to her Instagram page and... Doing, like throwing racist and misogynistic comics. Yeah, these motherfuckers have got life. And they've been life. doing it since she started the sh- joined the show. They don't have no life. Fuck those what people. What is re- their They problem? are horrible. They really don't have a life. Yo, haters they really do not don't. have a life. They really don't. You don't even know how pathetic they look. That's crazy. Spending their time on people's channels, giving hate comments. So pathetic. And I wish her all the best. I have. I hope she has a great support system with her mom and her family and Yo, stuff. this chick is probably laughing at these comments. I know. No, but that probably it does get to you. I know, I mean, it does, like, but after too. a while, you build, like, this wall, and you're just laughing at it. Yeah, like, yep, that's right. You're giving because, me more attention. Because, you know, they are black, and um, so it's like they're a black woman, so it's like, of course they're getting this hate. Of course. So it's, it's a lot. And so, and it's sad because they were so fucking excited to join Star Wars. They were so excited. And it's just like to see. And they also got a lot of hate when they played Rue in um, the Hunger Games. What? She was a little girl. And they were a little girl at that time. So it's like, damn. They were a little girl. Yo, my thing is. It is like this shit has been following them their whole lives. And it's just so fucking sad. I wish them all the best. I hope they get so much bag and money and all that shit and jobs. I don't think they need to worry they be bagging like movie deals. She, they be in the lead. Yeah, for and this happened to this she, happened to the they, whole cast. Amanda's gonna be fine. Because, Amanda's gonna be fine. I think because it sucks. Yeah, but I have high hopes for her career. She's really good. Yeah, it's just it's t- the whole cast, you know, because it's so diverse. Because the show is a diverse show. Of course, you have a Leslie Headland who was. A queer um, um, woman, of course, and she was the the writer or the headline, I guess, showrunner. Okay, that's pretty. And so it, it just sucks for all of them, and I I wish them all the best. You know, um, I renew the acolyte, save the acolyte. I think there's a petition going on to like, you know, get the show back. Let's see, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, it sucks. Ah. Star Wars. Anyways, let's get into Alien Romulus. Uh, that is the new film directed no, no, no. by Fede Alvarez. Uh, Alien Romulus is uh, 20 years after the first Alien. Uh, basically, it's like space colon- colonizers. That is the fucking... <laughs> like, that's the, 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 the synopsis they gave me come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe while scavenging the, the deep ends of a crap ass space station I can't really say it uh, but is space colonized colonist? it's colonist colonist oh. it's colonist they're not colonizers they're colonists people oh my who live God. on the colony I was reading that wrong I was like wait no, a no, second no 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 that's, that's what that says but they're actually this that's what I'm saying who why they gave me that? I don't know. But that was dumb as fuck. I'm sorry. They gave yeah. me that on Google, All which right. is crazy. That's why I was the looking at it. The like, group soon what? discovers that the station is far abandoned and they find themselves face to face with a deadly xenomorph creature. Mm-hmm. The aliens. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> um Yes, let's, uh, basically, let's get into it. Um, oh, let's say the cast real quick. You know, Kaylee. Kaylee? Plays Rain, an orphan oh. minor. She lost her parents in the mine. Yeah, Kaylee, yeah. David Johnson as Andy, an android reprogrammed by Ray's, Rain's father. Archie Renax. Wow. Oh. 
That's Taylor. Sorry. <laughs> Kay's brother and Ray's ex-boyfriend. We can't read. <laughs> I know. Isabella Merced <laughs> as Kay, Taylor's <laughs> pregnant sister. Spike Fern as Bjorg. Taylor and Kay's cousin. Mm. And Was he really their cousin? Ali, <laughs> Aline Wu as Navajo, a pilot and... Borg's girlfriend. Oh, really? Or, that was yeah. his girlfriend? Yeah, that's what I was like thinking. Oh, like, I they, did they not... looked like they were together, but then there was this. Anyways, that's not important. I'm confused. Okay, so <laughs> the company we Wayland just, Company you know, has control over the colony and the spaceships and all the tech. They're just trying to get back that alien yeah, that they found to. in space. I know. They're still trying to get fucking the, the xenomorphs. And if all that you've shit. been a fan of the alien films, then you'll probably be able to follow along. If not, the story is ah, I think I'm really honest. I was reading a fucking out there. I was looking at a video explaining what the fuck, like the Whaling Company and what they're like. How the, the whole alien mission, started. like what the whole like story of the alien. I saw Prometheus didn't get shit from it. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. So if you're looking for an in-depth alien shit, I am so sorry. It is confusing to me. If you are looking for originality in this story, step out. Don't Stop. listen. What? This is not the No, <laughs> the I was... No. I'm just kidding. There are some fun... It, you know, there's a lot of throwbacks to the original aliens. Well, it's 20 years after the first one. And the aliens with an S. Yeah. Which is Aliens 2. So, yeah, the <laughs> FedEx, the director uh, was talking about how, how, it, like, the ships even represent that. Like, the Romulus and uh, Remus. Yeah. Uh, the two brothers, uh, twin brothers, and how, like, one is representing, like, alien, the other one represents, like, aliens, and how the design, the art direction, mm-hmm. and how it looks. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. That was crazy. So, yeah. So, let, I, can I get into the art direction? Yeah, yeah, just go. The art direction, it reminded me so much of the first Alien movie. And I guess that was the fucking point. <laughs> because it's like after Halo. And I love the, like, I just, it was just so, it felt so 80s. Like, everything. Yeah, it they, felt did, so they did a great job of I making they it look really like it was from back then. Right? Yeah, in that time period yeah. of that movie. Yeah. I love the beginning with the no sound in space, because you, of course, remember there's no sound in space. And this, that, that point happens in several times in the movie, especially towards the end. Yeah. You don't hear any sound, and it's so freaking creepy. Space creeps so, the fuck out of me. I remember I was on a mountain in Utah, and all, it looked like heaven out in front of me. And then for a second, it went silent, no sound. And it's just like in the movies when it goes zoop. And that's how it was. And I was like, what just happened? And there was no sound. It oh, was so creepy. creepy. And that's how it is in the movies. When they go out of the sound, they take off the sound. It was like zoop. And you hear that sound, zoop. Wow. And there's no sound. Anyway, that's the point. It was just really cool in the beginning. Even just sitting there in silence. Yeah. Although you could hear people coughing, and I just was like, or cover eating, your mouth, people. Eating food. <laughs> or eating food. Go ahead. Um, it was me eating eating my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to eat so silently. Like, I, I was mm-hmm. fucking hungry. I just worked anime NYC. I was my feet fall off. Anyways, so yes, I love the practical effect. I love how the practical practical effects, the mixture of practical effects, like with the xenomorphs and the face huggers. That was really dope. Um, they look like from the first movie. Um, yeah. And then the special effects of the, like, space. And how it felt like you were in space. And you were there with the team of, 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 of characters. And it, like, it felt... And it almost felt like a video game. You know, mm-hmm. like, very immersive. Yeah, it but really did. Like it also helped that we were in the, the movie theater for our... PX, which has to do with um, really gives you a sound experience, and also your chair moves every time something happens. Yeah, I was movie. like, "What the fuck's going on?" I was on like, with "Your my chair is like <laughs> shaking," and I was like, "This is it. All right, I'll take it." Yeah, she was like, "No, I wanted the nine dollars back. What the fuck? <laughs> you paid thirty dollars for this I was tickets. like, "I thought Come we were gonna now. be moving with the ship." Like, hey, no, I think that's four DX. Four DX are the no, theaters no, no, no. that do that. 
Um, yeah, because <laughs> he's stupid. Um, you want to talk about the the beginning, like the comedy yeah. part? Yeah. Oh yeah, the the beginning of the sh- uh, well, I don't know. I don't remember ever seeing any colony in any of the alien movies. So it was very interesting how they showed the the planet and how the colony is living, which is like in. Uh, it felt like they had no life like they were living to survive and to work every, in the mines and to just, work yeah, in the mines surviving. they show the area looking like dirty like grungy old like and there was no life but other than seeing people work in the mines and they were forced to work in the mines for years and that's what happens with Ray she goes to go meet with people who work in the office of the mines and she's like I worked off my mine years and they're like no you have like how many more five or something five. like that So I guess the story is about these young characters because, you you know, this is the first time the alien kind of just, the alien movies focuses on young characters and their story trying to get out of a life that they do not want to live. They want us to be able to see the sun. So if you look, the planet looks like it's been raining, it's so dark, it's gray, it's there was a sunlight. There's no sun, and it, it's just a very interesting the way they made it seem. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was very interesting. Because, again, like you said, we I don't think we've seen that in other movies. Mm-hmm. So that was really cool. Um, the 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 action sequences and the... Like I, t- I talked about the visual effects. They were really amazing. The action sequence that got to me was the part that... Um, that they ran, they have to, like, Andy's, like, okay, because all the face huggers got out, and they have to go through the face huggers, and he's, like, well, I think, is it Rom- Romulus? Because um, the sister, was her name Kay? Kay, oh, Tyler's sister. Of course, because what happened to uh, Navarro and this shit. <laughs> That's it, like... That, what happened um, to Navarro, which is played by Aline Wu, is... yeah. Is horrible. It's horrible. She gets the first face hug. I think she's the only face. Oh Guess my god! The fucking face But the face way it happens, face. I got scared. I screamed. I don't know about oh anybody else. Oh my god! Like, but it just—it's just so much action packed. It was like I was like, ah. I think the face huggers are the shit that fuck freaks me out the most because how they put that little tongue thing down your throat oh, and like, oh, oh, oh. and of course they're impregnating you. Ew. That makes it more disgusting <sighs> and uh, like. Did you have to say it like that? Well, they are. And yeah. that's what makes it so ill. So, um, yeah, it's disgusting. But, yeah, that part when they went through, they had to go through the face huggers, like Andy and, and Rain and, and Tyler. Oh, my God. And you see the goosebumps on Tyler's arms when he's talking to Kay because she's, like, getting attacked from the xenomorph. I'm like, yo, I was, I would be dead. That face huggers would have got me first because I have so much anxiety. I would have been dead on the floor. Yeah, that whole so. there was a lot of scenes in this movie that had you on the edge of your seats, literally like, ah, oh, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Like, oh no, no. Especially that scene where she's like with her gun, Rain is with her gun, and I think that that like, reminds me when, so much. And she's of, like, shooting off the yeah. the aliens, and they're like leaving. Um, their acid blood. Oh, that part was in the dope. air, and she yeah. and there's she had to go through it. And it's a moment in the spaceship where there's zero gravity, and so she's flying in the air trying to dodge all these oh, acid blood stained <laughs> things that aliens left. And that scene was pretty intense, and I thought that was pretty. Yeah, that was. I thought a that really was a r- pretty original. Yeah. Yeah. So that was. Pretty she cool. looked like Sigourney Weaver in some parts too. I mean, I like, think that was that's of course the, the, the tension and callbacks. Yeah, and the stuff. callbacks. Yeah. To so people were saying they hated when Andy Ripley. Ripley thank mm-hmm. you. Uh, they hated when Andy said the line, "Get away from me, bitch!" In the end. Why? Well, yeah. Why was that? I don't. know. All these movies get called. Even the Marvel, Star Wars, there's always yeah, yeah. callbacks. Say, yeah, there's always haters. I don't know. I'm Let's just, just like, have fun. Come on now. Why you gotta nitpick at every We're little doing, thing? We're doing too much. Yeah, for yo, movies. take a break. <laughs> Do some meditation. You're so don't go, stupid. I don't know what. Oh, uh, but the thing that um, I resonated the most, and I was getting calls the most too, in the film was like the sibling bonds throughout the film. Of course, you got the main characters like Rain and Andy. And then Tyler and Kay. And then, you, um, but let me just say, Ray and Andy were the main characters, and I was rooting for them the most. I was like, Andy better get the fuck 
out of this alive. Yeah. And Rain too. Like I'm just like I really felt for their sibling bond. I felt that their brothers, even though they were like, oh, Andy's an AI or they are. Yeah, and the like funny that. thing is, when you start this movie, you do not get that. No, I you mean, do not get that at all. You that's got, just his. That's her brother. Yeah. That was really it. Their so that brother was and sister trying to survive and I mean, get out of there. There's always a robot in Alien, but I didn't expect yeah. Danny to be it. <laughs> no, I didn't expect that either. That's what's funny about it. Um, But yeah, I really loved their relationship, how it was just through thick and thin in the end, them just getting out of there alive together. I thought that was beautiful, to be honest. Um, also, the ship's themes, like I mentioned before, Romulus, Remus. Which, of course, is like, if you want to go into that, it's a civil rivalry that leads to Romulus slaying his brother, Ramus, and then Romulus becomes the first king and founder of the city of Rome. Did not fucking remember that. Is this historical fact? No, no, I think it's just so much. Oh, oh. (laughs) (laughs) Because it was like, like, wait, wait, I can't. I'm so slow that I I don't even even question uh, it. I don't think it is. Uh, It's a fictional, okay. It's a fiction, like, I was like, yeah, wait a minute, like, um, I never even heard it. Is it a folk tale? Folk Would it be tale. a folk tale, I think? Or Probably, something yeah. Like that? All right. But um, it's, no, but it's cool. It's cool. No, it's cool. I just wanted to um, that. Yeah, the diehard relationship between those two, Ray and Andy, definitely give it two thumbs up, baby. Anyways, um, applied AI was used in the film's um, facial rec- reconstruction. Um, AI was used to create a digital likeness of... Uh, Ian, Ian Holm, who was um, who played in the first Aliens, right, and also yeah. in the second Aliens. And but the, he played a the, different robot. Um, but he played robot um, AI. Yeah. yeah. Oh this allowed the character to appear in the film, even though he passed away. They also used voice synthesized uh, synthetics. <laughs> AI was also so they used his voice. Talk. I can't, right? I can't read. Ensuring yeah. that the character's Not dialogue sound, sounded authentic. So this was the only part in the movie that was just throwing me off because it was just it like wonky. the CGI it wasn't the best. So and I was like, where was the money for the CGI, it people? It looks so Where wonky. was the money for that? Everything else looks so cool. I, they, okay, you know I don't like AI. just throwing me off. Yeah, the AI shit with like, they do this a lot in Disney in the films now, mm-hmm. like reconstructing like... AI using for a, uh, a dead person, an actor and stuff. I'm just like, oof. But they said the family gave the okay. I mean, he, he I, it was still cool to see him because when when they showed him on the but, floor, I was I was like, wait, is that the robot? No, but when he was talking, aliens? it did not look good. I mean, it's still. I mean, it was cool to see his character in the it film. Was cool, That's what but I meant. it didn't look good. Oh yeah, relax, relax. Yo yo yo. yo. No, but he, Bye, you know, he was worry. scary. No, he was scary. I mean, it's just like how he, he just, was telling like Andy, it, this is for the company. Like, oh fuck the company. And What's and then at the one point in the shit? movie, they used his chip on Andy, yeah, the, and yeah, Andy was became like, was like this super powered robot. He was running. He was talking different. He was all for the company. He was leaving people to die. I was like, yo, Andy's scary like this. And then it reminded me how robots are scary. Yeah. That's, I, I was that's like, a, uh, you better take that chip out of Andy because Andy did not oh, give the okay for this shit. To I know, be going right? On. <laughs> I'm saying, I'd like to see um, robots have uh, autonomy over their own body too. I love robot stories. They're interesting. Can you suggest one, people? Like anything? Uh, mannequin? Oh no, that's not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Although Mannequin was a good movie. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not a robot. I, it's the title says it in itself. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, Alien Ramos was really, was really good. It's actually probably one of my favorite Alien movies up there with the first and second one. And also, like the dynamic between all the young characters was yes, fun to watch. I like I mean, it. They it felt like young kids. Yeah. Like young twenty year olds. Yeah. And doing some stupid shit. Do it. Oh lord. Going Nobody was shit. listening to people and smarts and common sense. They were not doing that. And I was no. like, you know what? That's because they were looking true. for that these happened. ships that were trying to, you know, that had um, cryo the, station, cryo nation, cryo cryo nation, <laughs> crustacean, <laughs> or something. cryo ships that would tra- make them travel to the place they want to go to see the sun. I forgot the name, for, but it, nine years they said it gets there to get there, uh-huh. but the. The fuel for the 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 ships, the extra ships that that was in that abandoned ship that was, the whaling company wanted because it had the alien in it, um, 
had only 3.5 years on it. So, of course, they had to go through the ship to get fuel. And that's when all the crap and chaos happened. Yeah. So, yeah. But it was scary. I was like, like, was edge of the seat. Anyway, like Fede an was talking army. about doing, like, this um, film before Aliens with Ripley while she's in cryostasis. Stasis? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Can't talk to Anyways, any story with a Ripley character would be awesome, but if yeah, because she is on cryostasis right now. Yeah, she is in cryostasis, so yeah, technically it's like she's 50 still alive. Years so I get how Rain too, was supposed right? to like be familiar. kind of like this Ripley character, but she wasn't. Yeah, I want to see a Ripley character. character again. But she had her. She had her own. You know, she she, she did her kind of like she did her thing. I liked it. I liked it. Like, right, but like, Ripley. Right. <sighs> One of my favorite characters in movies. Yeah. No, I remember you telling me that. So. Yeah. No, she's yeah. dope. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that's it. Check out Alien Romulus. Um, yeah, and check out us, Kick Ass Chat. All uh, right. Subscribe, like. Peace. Leave a comment. What do you like about Alien Romulus? If you can. All uh, right. Peace Give us out. a like. Peace no. out. Adios. <laughs> Bye.